Hi, Michael Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In the last three lessons, we've been going over the functions and features of Adobe Bridge, the editing program that comes with Photoshop. And in this lesson, we're going to do a review of all of the principal features so that I can remind you of what and how things work in Bridge and how easy it truly is. So let's get started. We're going to look first at the workspace and show you how to customize it. File menu, browse in Bridge. We have several workspaces available. Here's the essential film strip in its basics, metadata. I also have my customized. And the way you customize, you can add panels going to the window drop down menu. You can move them wherever you want. I can move them from side to side. If I want the collections over here, I'll just move it over to that side next to the keywords. Actually, I'll put it up by the metadata. Good place for it. And you can adjust the sizing by seeing your double arrow and pulling the panels up, down to customize them. Thumbnails, you can always add the spacing with a little click box. And once you get them the way you want them, go over to the drop-down arrow to New Workspace, and you can save your own custom workspace. Very easy to customize. Oh, and the easy way, of course, to get back to Photoshop is the boomerang icon or the file menu to return to Adobe Photoshop. Okay, that takes care of the workspace. It's not painting because it's trying to paint white. That's why. Working in Photoshop and I'm not on top of it. Okay, downloading your images from a camera directly to Bridge is with the photo downloader. There's the icon or the file menu to get photos. Very simply click it. And when you get the downloader to open up, nothing is connected at the moment, but you're saving options where you want to put it, subfolders if you wish, rename your files if you'd like, and you can also convert them to digital negatives, save copies, which is a really good idea. Downloading your images one shot to two different places so you already have a copy saved. But do not check the delete original files. You always want to make sure not only are your images downloaded, but that they're not corrupted. And that way you need to check them first because if you delete them and there's something wrong, you can't get them back in that card. I always recommend unchecking this. Okay, that takes care of the photo downloader.